Hello everyone, welcome to EDUCES, a complete solution for institutions. In this video, I am going to show you how the management can perform the authorizations for different users in EDUCES software. Management can give or restrict the screen access to the user type and users as well in EDUCES software. These screens will be accessed by super admin and the branch admin. Super admin have the access to assigning and removing the screens for branch admin, staff, students and parents. Branch admin have the access of assigning and removing the screens for staff, students and parents. Let's check the process. Go to user management, role authorizations in that user role authorizations. This is the step one. All modules and screens which are available in the EDC software will be displayed in this screen. Management can decide on giving the access rights module and screens based on the user role. With respect to the selection of the branches, management can perform these authorizations. To give the screen access to the user type, then just on checklisting the respective screen checkbox under is opted. Also can give the screen access either for read only or read and write to the user roles just by selecting the respective radio buttons of that screen and then save. On giving the screen access to the user role, then users who are registered under the user role can view the screen access either it can be read only or read and write based on the selection in their logins. To restrict the screen access to the user role, then just on removing the checklist for the respective screens under is opted and save. Then users cannot view that screen in their logins. Clear button makes to clear the modified data before save. And next, upload sub module icons. Management can upload their own icons for the given sub module in the application. Just on uploading the icons and save, whenever admin click on that submodule, then their respective uploaded icon will be displayed. Search option makes easy to get the required information. Step 2. Custom user authorization. Management can decide on giving the access rights to modules and screens of both web app and mobile app by selecting the individual users. Management can give or restrict the screen access to the individual user or to all users of the department at once by selecting the user in username field. Also can give the screen access as read only or read and write just by selecting the radio buttons. To give or restrict the screen access, select the module name, department and the users who are registered under that department will be displayed in the list. So, select the user from the list. Then, select the respective screens and checkboxes adjacent to the screen name and then save. On giving the access rights, the user will be able to view only those screens which he or she is given access. To remove the access of that particular screen to that user, then just uncheck the checkbox and then save. Then the user cannot view the screen but the rest of the users can view that screen. Management can give the access to individual screen and also for all screens in one shot just by checklisting the checkbox next to can access screen and also management can give or restrict the screen access for all the users or for multiple users based on the selection of the users under username field. Clear button makes to clear the modified information before saving and search option makes easy to get the required information. Can give or remove the screen access with respect to the web screen and mobile screen. These two screens are related to the screen access. Now let's go to dashboard charts related authorizations. In that step 1 dashboard user authorization in this screen management can give or restrict the dashboard charts with respect to the user role super admin and branch admin will have the screen access based on the selection of the branch can configure this authorization information these are the different types of charts which can be seen in home dashboard under dashboard chart screen to give the chart access management can checklist under user type 
and save. Then all users will get the chat access in their login. To restrict the chat access, management can remove the checklist under the user type and save. Then no one can view that chat access in their logins. Search option makes easy to get the required chat name. Clear button makes easy to clear the modified information before save. Step 2. Custom user dashboard. In this screen, management can give or restrict the dashboard charts with respect to the users. Based on the selection of the department, an user will be displayed in username field. Select the user and to give the chart access to that user, then checklist and save. Then the selected user can view the chart in dashboard chart screen in his or her login. To restrict this chart access to a user, then just uncheck and then save. Then user can't view the chart in dashboard charts screen in his or her login. Search option makes easy to get the required chart name and clear button makes easy to clear the modified information before save. These two screens are related to the dashboard chart access. In this way, management can give or restrict the screen access and dashboard chart access very easily using these screens in a single shot in Edusys software. Thank you.